Hey, what's going on? It's me, Slipper Jumate. I'm doing harvest science. Uh, this isn't really the video. Well, this is the start of the video. This is the start of the series. I don't know how many I'm going to make. Let me show you a spreadsheet before I do anything. Because all great POE videos start with a spreadsheet. Okay. I haven't put in the details yet. Basically, this is a call to action in the comments. Harvest science. I thought about doing harvest science when I was halfway through the simulacrum runs, like escaping one prison and getting into another. And I looked, and uh, coincidentally there was people posting like ha their versions of Harvest Science on Reddit, and with a bunch of googling to figure out like all the different ways people farm harvest. I watched like 12 or so different videos. Two of them I would consider good, well, well-edited I, my, I would, I don't, before I get, I'm not f throwing shade. My videos I don't consider well-edited or good, but I like the way I do my content, my, my data, but then again, a lot of people hate the way I do my data, and I saw one that was like, too much, too much data. He ran like, okay, not to name names, and I won't, but I'll be specific so you know who you are. You ran 24 maps, and you had like, gigabytes upon gigabytes of data. I'm gonna run a hundred of each different type, and I'm gonna give you, like, six cells of data for each uh, hundred maps. That's okay, I just wanna figure out generically, stuff. And before I get even more f further into it, before I get to this point where I'm like, please suggest ways, I will first explain that I want to do base maps, growing hordes, keystones, apparently you can do blue altars to get quant in your maps, and then once I figure out which growing hordes give me the best, like, cost to how much loot, I will do the best scarab, no keystone with blue altar, and then we'll get into the fun stuff of doing crop rotation on base maps, and then we'll do crop rotation with the best scarab, and then we'll do crop rotation with the best scarab and the altar. We could also do crop rotation with just the altar. Didn't even think of that. But I guess the more things I add, the more hundreds of maps I have to run. So, like, you know, this seems like the best way of doing it. And then we'll do wandering path base maps, wandering path with the best scarab, wandering path with the best scarab and the altar, grand design with base maps, grand design with the best scarab, grand design with the best scarab and the altar, wandering path and crop rotation with bare scarab and altar, grand design with crop rotation and best scarab and altar, and then crop rotation, best scarab, altar, and some sextants that benefit it, and wandering path, best scarab, altar, and some sextants that benefit it, and grand design, best scarab, altar, with some sextants that benefit it. The only sextants I can think of that benefit... Wandering Path and Grand Design would be generic, like, double sextant juice, and I guess, like, the ones that are, like, favorite yellow sextants. I don't really care what... I'm not prioritizing yellow, blue, purple, like, one over the other. Like, if there's an option between two purple, like, T3s and one yellow T3, and that's the flip-flop, I'm not going to take yellow because I want yellow more. I'm going to take the whichever gives me the highest tier. Whichever plot gives me the most amount of life force. Nearly said essence. Whichever plot gives me the most amount of life force is the one I'm clicking on. If it's a tie, if it's a perfect tie throughout all the tiers, then I'll do the yellow, blue, purple thing. But if it's not a perf perfect tie, I'm just picking whichever one gives me the most. All I care about with this is what, out of all these farming strats, gives me the most juice. So uh, that being said, if you have any suggestions on things that I've obviously missed, like apparently I missed uh, just base, just alter. Well, no, I didn't, because my plan with this was this no keystone will be my testing of altar and what altars give. So this 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 first hundred maps, which I've already ran, will be baseline, and then this will be altar baseline. So I don't need crop rotation altar baseline, because I'll have crop rotation as a baseline on base map, so that'll be against that. But I suppose I could. I suppose I could. If I get to the very end of this and I'm like, man, I really wish I could run another 300 maps... We'll add it. But hey, long story short, if you have, if there's anything here I've missed, actually, before I, before I get there, this is my uh, this is this is my tree. This tree will not be changing. That's something I saw with people that tested all the different. St I've seen like um, people testing multiple things with all different types of sample size. Even my sample size probably not big enough. They all change their trees drastically, and I guess it has its benefits, but it also has its downsides. The benefits are you can more heavily spec into like I want just this with crop rotation so I'm gonna go as hard as I can but really there isn't much because like I'm getting all the harvest nodes anyway like the only ones I'm missing out on are these ones because I'm forcing harvest and I'm missing out on the ones down here which you can't see because they're ones that force harvest I'm I'm, I'm spending the 12c every map I'm just forcing it so I don't need these tiny nodes 
So this tree isn't going to change. The only thing that's going to change is I'm going to turn on growing hordes when I run growing hordes, or I'm going to turn on crop rotation when I run crop rotation. Or I'm going to turn on grand design when I run grand design. I'm going to turn on wandering path when I run wandering path, but I'm not going to change anything else in the entire tree. So it's going to be a stable. What matters is what we pick on the atlas tree, and that's it. One thing that will slightly alter is uh, blue altars. I'm going to run mausoleum maps because I don't have a boss, or the boss doesn't count as being a boss, so that I have a higher chance of getting quant altars, which is what you pick on the grand... We'll get, we'll get there eventually. But for maps where I'm not running altar, or at least early on, probably just these maps, I'm going to run glacier to build up a pool of mausoleums. And then probably all of these, I'll be able to sustain mausoleums by the time I get there. So that'll be the difference, but it shouldn't matter because... Every map is going to be average these before Atlas and stuff modifiers, so, you know. It shouldn't matter that I'm running Glacier for the first base ones. Anyway, I put my stuff, like, this is what I got from these first hundred Glaciers, so by the time I do another 400 Glaciers, I should have a quad tab of mausoleums, and I will be infinitely sustaining after that point. But, uh, this doesn't, this was just... I put all my chaos, this isn't loot, but yay, generically, loot from 100 maps is everything in here except the chaos. No, the chaos value is untrusted, but here's the loot from the first set that we did, and um, some psychopaths record individual essence loot. I keep saying essence. Life force essence, is it not? No, it's just life force. Shit. Okay, 39035. 39035. Uh, yeah. Let me put it back in for a sec. That's what he said. Uh, 39035. And then blue is... 25434. 254. This is why we this is why we show you both at the same time, so I actually pay attention. 25434, Pebble. Uh 29763. 29763. We got one white one, but it went to my fragment tab automatically, so it's not here. But every time I get a white essence, I will just put it in the spreadsheet immediately so I don't lose it anywhere. Yeah. So uh if there's anything in here, any other way of combinations that I haven't thought of, like, it's just, I'm going to sit and think hard for a sec. Grand Design is the one that gives pack size, Wandering Path is the one that fucks your atlas, and Corp Rotation is the one where you got to think. So, Grand Design and Crop Rotation, Grand Design, and have I, do, have I done grand, grand Design and Wandering Path? No? Would that do anything? Yes. Grand design and wandering path and best scarab altar. Is that the is that all three combinations, the two possible things? Growing hordes is included when I say best scarab altar, so I don't have to worry about combining that into that. I think that's everything. So yeah. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments. And I don't know, like this the, maybe maybe these will be a video and then maybe like that or maybe like these will be the next video and then these will be the next video and that'll be the video after that and that'll be the video after that and that'll be the video after that and you know at some point whatever you suggest will be a video and then like the omega juice video like this six man party because party quant does affect probably the harvest life force we'll just like once we once we have data on what's fucking amazing to do this with that's the one we'll do a six man party on but yeah anything else let me know, we'll add it to this so you don't have to keep, like, asking for things that people have already suggested. Or, I mean, I'll probably only add it to this if I think it's a good idea. So if you're suggesting an idea, I'm like, that's shit, I'm just gonna, like, pretend I didn't see it, even though I've read all of the comments. Anyway, this is coming out next, and I'll, uh, see you then.